I sure hope this is working now. As you may have guessed, I was trying to go back to the time of Christ. I'm not looking like my time machine can do that, though. Well, I'm going to keep working on it. But in the meantime, let's check out some of the stuff I've learned in my research. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. Joseph and Mary had to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem, a trip of anywhere from 65 to 120 miles, depending on the route taken. Traveling in a straight line, it's around 65 miles. However, it's extremely unlikely that they traveled in a straight line. Mountains and unfriendly people, plus the road wasn't perfectly straight. Traveling on roads tends to be faster, safer, and easier. For comparison, we have several vehicles, all of which are traveling from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Keep in mind, this is calculated without any sleeping or potty breaks. Also, Mary, being pregnant, couldn't travel as fast as usual. If I could just figure out where I was, or when I was, we could find out if Joseph and Mary had a donkey or not. But as it stands, I'm lost, and my guess is as good as yours. I do know that walking just five miles on these mountain trails isn't any fun. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. So while in Bethlehem, Mary delivered her firstborn. The city was crowded. You can imagine there were a lot of people there for the census. There were so many people, in fact, there wasn't any space for them to stay. It was the custom back then to open your house to travelers. But there were just so many travelers that there weren't any houses to stay at. It's a classic view of Joseph running around, knocking on doors the night they arrived, looking for some place for Mary to give birth. It's probably not correct. Katavuma, an inn, lodging place, or an eating room, dining room. Using the King James, it's translated as guest chamber twice and in once. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there is with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go now, even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Angels are the messengers of God. We don't really know what they look like, though the Bible does give vague descriptions of some angels in a few locations. 